Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 351. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 349 to 352. Hey, in this video we want to see how to create an area chart. We have an X and an F of X, but we want to create the area chart with one data set and then an add a second data set. Uh, that will be dynamic. So I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. I'm going to click somewhere in the uh, data set and control asterisk on the number pad. Then I'm going to go up to insert. Actually, we'll notice something that, that it really we could have just highlighted this single column because the area chart won't interpret X and F of X as it would on a scatter. But let's go ahead and see what it does. Oh, it, it thinks that uh, there's two different data sets. Here's one quick way to do this, is just to click on the top one and delete. The better way is then to probably just highlight this one, just the F of X. Go up to your area, insert area, and then it will get it, uh, this first one right here, and get it just right. The second thing you want to notice is that it doesn't interpret uh, like we j I just said, X and Y properly. So we need to link this to the data points. You can see we have, you know, starting at 230 and going up to 1,220. Totally wrong. So we want to highlight the chart. And in 2007, you go to design. And this is the power of charting. In earlier versions, it was step two in the chart wizard because charts don't always guess right. So now we need to edit this. There's the data. There's edit for the horizontal category. Notice it puts the default one, two, three, but we say edit. Click in the top, control shift down arrow, then click OK. Click OK. Now our chart is properly linked and we can see our data there. Now uh, let's um, add a few things here or, or delete a few things. I'm going to delete. Actually, no, we want to keep that. That is our legend. We're going to add a second data set, but I do want to click here and type uh, area chart for f of x or whatever label you want. Hit enter. I'm going to get rid of these lines right here. Delete. Uh, now let's add a second data set. Now here's what I want to do. I'm going to try and drag this down just a little bit. I would like to add a second uh, area that shows three se 475 or less of that area. So the way to do that is to add a second column and we'll use the if function. Now I'm going to call this um, F the label for it because this label right here as this label right here gets added to the legend. So F of x less than or equal to 475. Actually, uh, let's do this a different way. I'm going to make a formula out of this uh, right here. So right now, if we put equals and then quote and then double quote like that, that's a silly kind of formula. But we could link that 475 to this by using concatenation. Uh, right now, it's just a text formula, right? But really, what we want is we want the, all of that right there to be text, and then this parentheses to be text, and this to be a link to that cell. So watch this. Here's the trick. Do the easy part first, and then type double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. That isolates that as text and that as text. And then I click in the middle and click right there. Okay, right now if we change this to um, 500, that label will change. And our if function uh, dat data retriever will update, which will then update the chart. I'm going to control Z because I wanted that there. Now I'm going to highlight that and use my paint uh, copy format only and click right there. Then our formula is going to be equals if this value right here is less than or equal to this value, and I'm going to hit the F4 key. If that's true, right, because all the way up through here it'll be true, but when it gets up past 475 it'll be false. So the value we want if true is this F, the result of the F of X. Now I have a normal distribution function here, but it could be any F of X function. So there we have uh, that, and that's a relative cell reference. That's relative, that's absolute, that's relative, comma, and what's, what do we want if false? I'm just going to put double quote, double quote. That means blank. Close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. Now if I scroll down here and look, you can see when it gets past uh, that 475, 
sure enough, it's got some blanks. Now let's add our data. You got to click on the chart, and now this is where the magic of design and select data. This is where the power of charting comes because you can build any kind of uh, data you want into a chart. I'm going to click Add. The label, very important because this part links it to the legend. Click it there. Series values, yuck, I'm going to get rid of that. Sometimes that gets in the way, so you always want to highlight it and delete it. And now highlight the top cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, click OK. Totally wrong there. Click Edit, and that would supersede that one we put in earlier. So you want to be sure then and highlight that. Control Shift Down Arrow. By the way, you can also add multiple horizontal or I've only done up to two because you can list a, a multiple X and Y axes. But let's click OK. That is what we want for this particular example, and there we have it. We have our dynamic, let's see if I can scroll down here, dynamic area chart for whatever f of x. And now I'm going to change this to 750. And sure enough, that changes dynamically 900, uh, 425, just that little bit down there, 300. So there it is, a dynamic chart, area chart for x and f of x with two uh, data sets plotted. All right, we'll see you next trip.